Good morning. It's the day before Easter and I'm trying to make a, a different little Easter surprise, a little treat. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna make some Rice Krispie treats, but I'm going to put them in egg halves. And then after they are firm, I'll put the two halves together and hopefully with some melted chocolate, they'll stick together and then maybe uh, I can drizzle some other chocolate on them or decorate them some way. So anyhow, this is just practice. I've never done this before, I'm just making it up. So um, I'm gonna get my Rice Krispie treat started. I've got three tablespoons of butter in here. I'm gonna put this whole package of mini marshmallows in there on that and let it melt. And then I'll be stirring in six cups of Rice Krispies and I'll probably put a few of the little um, mini chocolate chips. Got some little mini chocolate chips. So anyhow, I'll get back with y'all when I start stuffing them in. I have washed these um, little eggs out and then I've sprayed them with some cooking spray. So hopefully they won't stick in there. So anyhow, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm back and let me show you. I've, I got them in the little um, egg halves. So now I'm going to try uh, getting one out. I'll do it, take it out of the big one here. We'll just see how it does. So that end is shaped nice. Let me see how the other end is. Okay, it's shaped pretty nice. So what I wanna do is get these two to go together like that. So it's gonna take a pretty good bit of chocolate, I think, in between there to make those stick together. So I'm gonna find a little container that I can sit that in. Let's see, I think I'll probably sit down in this pretty good. Like a little ramekin. Then I can put the chocolate on and then this. So I've melted some dark chocolate. Uh, wafers. I get the about the the little melted wafers. I've got in dark chocolate, and then I've got some these are the Ghirardelli uh, milk chocolate ones. So I'm going to play around with both of them. But I've already melted the dark chocolate, so I'll start with that, and we'll see how this does. So hold on a second. I'm going to try to turn it where you can see what I'm doing here. All right. So, I could try dipping this down in there. Don't know if that's gonna work or not, but I'll try it. Yummy. All right. That, you know what, I think I still have a smaller bowl I can put that in. Hold on a second. Well, not really. Stick it in that one. Ah, I have chocolate all over my fingers. Okay, so I'll take the other end now, and I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna kind of dab it on this so that it's good and thick. Nice kind of glue, chocolate glue, right? Okay, and then I'm just gonna set it right on top of that. So that will be the prize egg. That's the big one. I think it's gonna look pretty cute. Let's leave it over here out of the way. Um, let me get this chocolate off my fingers here. I would lick it, but I'm not going to. Okay, so now let's try these. And I think with, with these sides here, they actually fit in these cartons. So I, could, I should be able to just I'll take the bottom one, come out of there. Okay, that came out pretty good. And I'm gonna try dipping it in here, like that. Sit it right back in the tray here. Get the other end out. And I think I'll do the same thing again, just get some glue on it chocolate glue and stick that together. That makes a pretty big egg. 
if you can see that well. There. Hopefully you can see that. I mean, it's pretty egg-shaped. Let's try one of the little ones now, see how they're going to do. <coughs> so you can see these are looking like a big old egg with chocolate in the middle of it. Once they're good and firm, then I'll um, I'll try drizzling some other chocolate on them or doing something with them. I don't know what. This one's kind of cute. Makes for a long egg. <laughs> I tried to make these flat when I put them in the containers. Try to make them as flat as possible, but it's pretty hard to do when that Rice Krispie stuff's so hot. You just have to be careful with it. But anyhow, I'm just gonna keep playing with these and I'll let you see them when I get them all done. Talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, I'm back. These have cooled off, and um, the chocolate is not gooey anymore, as you can see. So I've got them all out here, and I'm just gonna drizzle this milk chocolate on them now. And uh, let, them, let it cool on this side, and then I'll flip them over. But I just wanted you to see what I'm planning on doing. So, just drizzling it all over, splattering it kind of, actually. So, we'll see how they turn out. It's a different kind of Easter egg. Those who love Rice Krispie Treats and chocolate will be happy. Anyhow, when I get them all finished, I will show you the finished product. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So I decided that um, those didn't look Easter enough for me, so I want them to have a little color. So I had some Easter uh, M&M, little Easter egg shaped things that were made by M&Ms. And so I put some of those in a baggie. I, I tried them in the blender and they just went to like dust. So I put them in a baggie now and I'm just gonna, you know, like break them up a little bit like this. Just enough to get the, get them broken up, but still show the colors. So now I've got all those colors in there and I'm just gonna, you know, just crumble them up with my hands like this. So there's pretty good little pieces in here. So you can see, well, that one didn't break very good. Might have to bang that one a little bit more. But most of these are, you know, small enough little pieces that you can see the, the colors. And so I'm just sprinkling that on top of the eggs as well. So I'm gonna give this a couple more bangs because I didn't quite get it good enough. I was trying to hurry and show y'all. But anyhow, it just makes some colorful little pieces and it's still chocolate to go on top. So I've already sprinkled it on the side that um, is drying right now. So as soon as I flip them over and sprinkle chocolate again, I'll be putting these on and I'll show them to you. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so here they are. You can see they're a lot more colorful than they were with the little bit of um, 
you know, the little bit of color on there from the crushed up M&Ms. So if you have some um, uh, sprinkles, you know, or something like that, that's in the pastel colors, that'd probably work even better. I just didn't happen to have anything like that on hand. I don't keep that on hand. Uh, I had some Christmas colors in there, but nothing uh, that was a pastel. So. These are the closest things to it. I think they'll be delicious. It's all chocolatey and rice crispy. So anyhow, that's gonna be the little Easter treat for everybody for tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna be making a strawberry cake uh, as well and, and then finishing up some deviled eggs. And then I'm pretty much done. And I hope y'all all have a happy Easter and um, try to eat as healthy as you can um, but enjoy the day as well. Uh, God bless you. Bye-bye.